Ah, we have a camera. Yay. Okay. Well, that's a fun little blurb. Today, Penelope is going to talk to you about... William Wakes Up. By... Linda Ashman and Jeff Gore. Be a nice host. This doesn't work. Sure it does. Okay, so Penelope Chaya, you have the words, meaning the author is Linda Ashman, and this one says pictures, which is another way of saying illustrated by Chuck. Groning. We're not sure how to pronounce his last name. All right, Penelope. What is your review? What is your take on this book? Stop playing with your microphone. Thumbs up. Why is it thumbs up? What did you like about it? It was fun. It was fun. Was there anything about it that you didn't like? No? You liked everything? All right, shall we open it and take a look? All right. Okay. So, pretty illustrations. What's going on on this page? Just looking out the window. Just looking out the window? Enjoying the outdoors? What's in here? Why does, why does this person have animals in their house? Mm. <laughs> Talk about it. Oh, she's going to sneeze. Look out! <laughs> okay. Nope. False sneeze. Alright. Tell us about the book, Penelope. He's telling the animals to wake up from hibernation. Oh, so it's coming to springtime. Mm -hmm. Wake up, wake up. Mm -hmm. And then the porcupine. What does it say down here? I can't sleep a minute more. I'll gladly clean the kitchen floor. What? They're going to clean the house now for spring cleaning? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. They bake, they scrub, they wipe and scrap. Says porcupine, I'm out of shape. There's way too much for us to do. We would better wait for others too. Mmm, so they're gonna get more help. Mm -hmm. Wake up, it's spring. Today's the day. A special guest is on the way. Rise and shine, no time to lose. One rolls out, two others snooze. A special guest arriving soon. I'll tidy up the living room. Oh, how nice. Someone's gonna they do the dust, kitchen. They shine, they fluff and buff. Till groundhog groans, I've had enough. There's way too much for us to do. We'd better wake the others too. Mm. So a porcupine and a groundhog? And then that one? Badger? Um, or a squirrel? What is that? A chipmunk? Probably. Wake up, it's spring, today's the day, a special guest is on the way. Does one roll out? Oh, yes, you bet. And the other? Nope, not yet. Oh, uh, we have a bear joining the party. Babe, oh dear, says bear, it seems I'm wet. May I help you decorate? The fro they frost, they squeeze, they paste and paint. The bear sits down, I'm feeling faint. There's way too much for us to do. Perhaps raccoon can help us too. That looks like a fox. Hmm. They gathered around the rumpily bed. The pat raccoon's still dozy head. Hey raccoon, pinch and help out. They tug his tail, they nudge his snout. Raccoon just snores and burrows deep. But is he really sound asleep? Hmm. Is he pretending? Does he not want to help clean? Just outside, they hear some flop and twitch. Chirping, tweeting, tap, tap, tapping. When a whistle loud and clear, William says, My friend is here. They throw the front door open for Welcome, Bluebird, come inside. We bake a cake. We bake the cake just for you. But we might like a silver, a sliver too. Mm, how pretty. He's in his underwear. 
Purple. I clean both up. Did I hear cake? Don't start without me. I'm awake. Jim <laughs> says Chipmunk. That's not fair. He hasn't helped us at all, says Bear. This it, it isn't right. It isn't nice. He shouldn't get a single slice. Hmm. Raccoon looks sad. He hangs his head. I'm sorry that I stayed in bed. I don't like to help that if I could. And have some cake. It looks good. Says William, there's no more work to do. Bluebird needs us to a uh, building crew. Oh, yes, he's right. I do, Raccoon. My friend will be here very soon. We'll need new nests. No time to lose. But I will help. I will not snooze. Oh. But first, um, says we'll grab a plate. Now it's time to celebrate. Yay, celebrate! Welcome, friend. Welcome, son. Welcome, spring time, everyone. Aww. It's so cute. So, what was your favorite part about it? Mm, that raccoon actually helped. Okay. Good. The blue bird. Yeah. My favorite part is that it rhymes. I like books that rhyme. Yes. And the illustrations are so cute. Did you have a favorite character? Mm hmm. Yeah? The boy? Mm hmm. Alright, fair enough. Even though he was in his underwear. Underwear. That's not underwear, is it? That's an apron, I think. Mm. I don't know. Like a long, long underwear is kind of a thing. Yeah. Maybe pajamas. Either way, very cute book. Nice rhymes. A little bit of funny, mm -hmm. funny stuff. And. Basically a moral, right? What's the lesson they're trying to teach you? Do you think? Mm -hmm. About the raccoon sleeping in? To always help because they might, because they will give you a big reward. Maybe. Maybe. We shouldn't be lazy. We should help and pitch in and everybody work together to help with mm -hmm. the work so it goes faster. Mm -hmm. Maybe. and. If everybody else is working and we're not, that maybe doesn't make everybody feel good, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Any final words to tell your audience? No. Nope. How about? Bye. Thanks for listening. Bye.